today we're gonna take a look at Stonks, a Minecraft plugin that brings stocks and investing to your Minecraft server. Now it doesn't matter if you care about stocks in real life or not, I don't and I still think this is an amazing plugin that adds lots of cool stuff to your Minecraft server. So let me show you. Now I do want you guys to know that this is a sponsored video. The creator of this plugin actually reached out to me asking me to make a video about stonks. Now the only reason I said yes is because I do actually enjoy this plugin. I don't care a single bit about stocks in real life, but inside of Minecraft I think they're pretty cool. I think it's a solid plugin, which is why I want to share it with you guys. But do know it is a sponsored video, and if you want to purchase stocks for yourself or not, that's completely up to you. There will be a link in the description of this video, so if you want to, do check it out. And if you don't know yet, just continue watching. Before we start though, it will mean a lot if you could leave a like, also check if you're already subscribed to the channel, you're only a single click away. Only a single one. And then, without any further ado, let's dive right into this. Alright, so here we are inside of a server that has Stonks installed. Now installing Stonks is really, really easy. Just make sure to click on the link in the description of this video and you can purchase and download the plugin from there. Now besides only installing Stonks, you also want to install Vault. Now installing Vault is even more easy. Just click on the other link in the description of this video, download it, drag it into your plugins folder and then restart your server. After Stonks and Vault are both installed, let's go and create ourselves some stocks. So creating a stock is actually very easy. All you want to do is type slash stonks after that stock because we're gonna create a stock so stock create then we need to give it a stock id. Now this can actually be the same name as your stock so I'm gonna call this epic yeah then I need to choose a stock name it's gonna be epicness. I'm so creative, oh my god. After that you want to give a price. By the way, if you don't know what to put here, uh, if you just press enter now, so let's just press enter, there we go. Now you see exactly what to put where. So, stonks, stock, create, stock ID, stock name, we got all that. Now we need a price and a supply. So, I'm gonna make the price 100, there we go. And after that, the initial supply. Let's put the initial supply to 10,000. Why not? There we go. Our stock has been created. Now, if we type slash stocks like that, it will give you an overview of all the stocks inside of your server. So right now, we only got epicness here. So epicness, the current price is 100. The day low is 100. The day high is 100. The week low is 100. It's just all 100. Now, we can left click here on epicness to buy and sell shares, or we can right click to see the orders we already own. So if I right click, we can see that I own absolutely nothing. Okay, cool, that's great. Let's change that. So let's go back and then let's left click here on Epicness. And over here, we will be able to buy some Epicness. So we can either buy one share for $100. We can also buy 10 shares for a little less than $1,000. We can also buy 100 shares for a little less than $100,000. We can also short one share, short 10 shares or short 100 shares. For both of them, we can also set a custom amount. So let's say I want to buy 14. I'm able to. Then we can also set a minimum price and a maximum price. Now this is actually something very cool and handy. So a minimum price for example. Let's click on it and it pretty much explains it here. So right in chat the minimum price you want your share to automatically close at. So if we put it to 50 for example. There we go. Then right now 50 is my minimum price. So if my share goes below 50, it will automatically close, which is really cool. Now you can also set a maximum price. I'm not gonna do that, just leave a default. What we can change though is the leverage. So pretty much the leverage is like investing more than you actually own. So let's say I would invest $1,000 into Epicness. Then it will actually act like I've invested 2,000. Now that means that you will gain twice as much when your share goes up. But that also means that you will lose twice as much if the share goes down. So that can be very beneficial. It can also go very, very wrong. Because if the value of your share goes down 
50%, only 50%. It will actually go down 100% and everything will be gone. So be careful with leverage. It sounds great, but it also comes with great risks and there's just a bigger risk of everything being gone. Now I'm just gonna keep my leverage on one. I've set a minimum price, let's go and buy some stock. So let's buy just a single share. There we go. And let's buy another single one and another single one. There we go. Now you can see that the last two I bought were a bit more expensive. That's because I've made the share more expensive myself by buying a single one. Because that's how it works. If there's more interest in the share, it will become more expensive. Now Casasura, how can I know how good the stock I have is actually doing on the server? Like, I don't want to lose money, I want to gain it. Well, luckily we have this very convenient placed wall here. And on this wall, we can make a board that will show us exactly how a stock we've invested in is doing. So let's create a board. Let's type slash stonks display then we're gonna choose for the board we're gonna create a new board and we're gonna create a new board for epic after that you will need to choose a time so if we choose a day here then the board will show how the stock epic has been doing for the past day i'm just gonna choose for hour there we go. And then we can choose a size for the board. So you can do 5 by 4, 6 by 10. Or in my case, I'm just gonna do 10 by 10. Press enter. Oh, press enter. You need to be kind of close to the wall. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is currently how our stock is doing. So the current price is $100.03. The lowest price has been $100. The highest price is pretty much what it's on right now. Then here we can also see the time scale. Currently it's on one hour, exactly how we set it. Then we also got the name of the stock, the type and the exchange type. You can also make stocks that actually use a material in Minecraft as an exchange type. So this stock, the epicness stock, is only using money. You can actually make a type of stock that's using something else than money. For example, diamonds. But I will show you how to do that later in this video. So what's also very very, very cool about this board is that you can actually buy and short stocks through here so we can just click in the direction of orders for example and that will show us our orders so these are all the orders we have you can see all the details so shares is one leverage is one the share type is normal then you can also see the current stock price the initial stock price you can also see the price of automatic closure which is really cool and what's the conclusion of all this i've not gained a single dollar Great. <laughs> okay, but we can also purchase some new stock through here. So let's just click on the top one like that. Now we can choose an amount. So how many stocks do we want to buy? I want to buy a single one. There we go. The minimum price, I'm also going to leave it at 50. I'm actually pretty happy this way. If I will purchase this stock now, it will be exactly the same as the other three stocks we already own, which is perfect. So let's just click on buy there we go you bought one share of epicness now if for example i would want to buy two at a time i can just click on there again then change this amount to two like that so that says two over here and then just click on buy again and now we bought two shares awesome okay so the price will be going up even further i'm getting rich <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not. You can see the price is already going up, even though I'm the only person purchasing stuff from here. Now, if you would have a whole Minecraft server with 10, 20, maybe even 50 people, then you can imagine that this will fluctuate a lot. And you can actually make yourself money on the Minecraft server, which is really cool. So I can just short... Uh, let's short one or two of them. There we go. You shorted two shares. So that means that the current price will be going down again. And in a second you will also see this graph drop. There's no other way because I've sold two of my shares. There it goes. <laughs> Nice. Now besides this big board, there are two more very cool ways to see how your stock is doing. And one of those methods is a map. So let's type slash stonks, display, then I'm gonna choose the map, I'm gonna choose epic, and we're gonna choose an hour. There we go. We got a stock map for epicness. And here I can see exactly how epicness is doing, which currently is, yeah, not so well. Now the last method is with a sign. So let's just place a sign on the ground 
After that, look at it and then type slash stonks display sign create and then the name of your stock. In my case, epicness. Press enter, then right click on the sign and there we go. Now the sign will show the name of the stock, the current price, the evolution, which is currently 0%, sad enough. And then when we right click on the sign, we will be able to purchase some stock. And that's how you create, buy and manage your stocks. Now let's take a look at the config. First you want to go to your server folder, then click on plugins and after that stonks. In the stonks folder you should have two folders and a bunch of files. Now what you want to do is look for the config.yml file. Open it and this is what you will see. Now here inside of the config file there's lots of stuff you can change. I will not be going over every single detail here as it's something you will have to explore for yourself. This part over here, the stock API is something we will take a look at in a second. Though some settings down here you can already change, for example the maximum leverage. So a leverage, we talked about it earlier in this video. Currently the maximum leverage is 10, if you want to make the number even higher or maybe lower you can totally do that. Now you also got the map refresh time, the board refresh time, the share refresh time just a bunch of default plane settings are here inside of the config. So do definitely check it out. After that what you want to do is look for the stocks.yml file. Now here inside of this file is where you will find all your stocks. So here we got the stock named epic, the name is epicness and then a bunch of settings. So the initial supply, the total supply, price multiplier, volatility, real stock and refresh period. Now something very cool we can actually do here is change the exchange type. So by default the exchange type is money. Though let's say you don't want to use money as a currency, let's say you want to use diamonds or gold blocks, then you can easily change that. Now to change it we will actually have to add a line. So I'm just gonna add a line here at the end of the config. So let's press enter, I'm gonna type X change type just like that and then my exchange type is gonna be diamonds. There we go. So now to be able to buy a share of the epic stock we will need to use diamonds. One thing that could be interesting is the volatility. This is basically how much the price of the stock will fluctuate by itself. So right now it is set on 0.01 .01, meaning that the price will not fluctuate that much. If you put this number higher then the price will start to fluctuate more. And that's all. That's how that works. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is how to set up real stocks. So real stocks is a feature from Stonks that will basically let you link a real life stock to a stock in game. And that way a stock in game will basically be represented by a real stock. In other words, if in real life a stock is going up in price, then it will also go up in price in game. The players will have no effect on the stock at all. It's pretty cool. Now to be able to do this, you will need to find a stock API. We're gonna use FinHub because it is the recommended one for this plugin. So what we want to do is we want to get ourselves a free key. Now there will be a link in the description of this video to this website. Over here you can just click on get a free key and over here you will need to choose a name an email and a password. Now after being signed in, we got ourselves a API key. So this key over here, you just want to click on copy. After that what you want to do is go back to your configs.yml file, open it up and then here on line 14 you can see key. Just paste the key in here like that. After that we can save this file and exit out. Then you want to go back to the stocks.yml file. Open it up and then all the way at the top we're, we're actually gonna change the name. So this name over here is the most important because this name here will actually need to represent the name of the real life stock. But in the real world many big companies have their own stocks and every single company has their own identifier. So for example a very big company that I like Apple has an identifier that is AAPL. So because it's easy, I'm just gonna use Apple as an example. So I'm just gonna change this name here to the identifier of Apple. So AAPL. And then here I'm just gonna put Apple like that. Then the last thing you want to do is change the real stock to true. After that, make sure to save the file. So here we are back in game. And if we now type slash stocks, 
you can see that we have the Apple stock right here. And the price does actually match the price from the current Apple stock. Now, if the stock in real life will go up, this price will go up as well. And if the price goes down, the price will also go down here. And then guys, that's gonna be it. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you now know how to set up stonks on your Minecraft server. But besides this being a sponsored video, I do really enjoy the plugin myself, even though I don't care about stock in real life at all. I think this is a very cool add-on for your Minecraft server. So if you would want to check it out, there will be a link in the description of this video where you can purchase it from. And then with all that being said, I hope you have an amazing day and then we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.